Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. Today, we're talking about the Kenwood TH D74A. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis. My call sign is Kilo5 Charlie Lima Mike. And like I said, today, we're gonna to be talking about the Kenwood TH-D74A HT. But before we get into that, please make sure you click on the subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen as well as the bell icon so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. Okay, so let's get on to the video of t for, for the radio and let's talk about it. Okay, this radio is the Kenwood D uh, TH-D74A. This radio retails on Amazon for $531.95. Now, before you jump at that that price point, let me just say this. It is a tri-band handheld radio, not just a dual band. It's, it's uh, two meters, 220, and 440. So you get another band in there for a little extra money. But there's also more features in this radio that you're not going to find anywhere else on any other radio. So let's go ahead and get on with that. Okay, so um, this is a true dual band radio, meaning that you can receive on both, uh, both sides of the radio. You can receive a uh, VHF and VHF signal, two different VHF signals at the same time, uh, two UHF signals at the same time, or a VHF and a UHF, and you can hear them at the same time. Whenever you key up, it will automatically mute the subband so the audio won't go across the microphone into the one you're talking on. The radio will transmit on 144 to 148, from 222 to 225, and from 430 to 450. It will receive on uh, 136 to 174, 216 to 260 and 410 to 470 and that's on the main band what they call band A. On band B it has a very large receive range. It will receive from uh, 0.1 megahertz to 76 megahertz. It will receive 76 to 108 megahertz which is wideband FM. You can listen to FM radios on this uh, radio and then also from 108 to 524 megahertz. So it does have a very wide range, even going up into the HF bands, uh, on the receive only, of course. It does have four power output levels. You have five watts as your high power, so it's not as, as powerful output as one of the ICOMs that I did uh, just a little while ago, and I'll put a link up here in the top to show you on that one. But it has five watts, two watts, half a watt and 50 milliwatts. It has 1,000 memory channels and 1,500 repeater lists. Now I'm not sure what the repeater lists are, so if any of y'all are watching this that have this radio and can tell me what that is, please leave a comment below and let me know what, that, what the repeater list portion is. This radio also has a built-in TNC, which you can use for APRS. And on top of that, you can connect this radio to your PC via either USB with the built-in micro USB slot or via Bluetooth and use your computer to send APRS messages or over use it as a TNC and a radio built-in. So that's awesome. Um, it does have a built-in GPS, so you can use that with your APRS. Uh, or with another function I'm going to talk about here in just a second. Um, you can change, you can control the radio itself uh, with your computer using the micro USB port that's, that's installed in this uh, radio. You can change the, the channel or the frequency of the radio itself. Um, that USB port can be used for controlling the radio like I just mentioned. You can use it for mass storage, or you can use it for USB audio. If you have an external USB speaker, you can use that. This radio is built very tough um, and has very tough waterproofing. Um, it meets the IP54 and 55 standards. 
And like I said a minute ago, it does have a built-in uh, FM radio in it or FM receiver in it. So you can listen to your favorite music while you're waiting for somebody to talk to you on amateur radio. With uh, It also has a built-in SD card. Uh, of course, you have to buy the SD card separately, but it will uh, go up to, I believe it's 32 gigabytes. Um, it just says with the max of the mini SD cards, but I'm pretty sure that's 32 uh, gigabytes. Um, and you can use this to uh, put a repeater list in. You can use it for uh, recording voice messages. You can record, uh, there's four different channels that you can record on. What up? Channel one has up to 30 seconds, uh, two, three, and four has up to 15 seconds. So you can record a message and press a couple buttons and it'll send that message out over the air. So this is great for working, uh, you know, some kind of contest or something like that. I don't know why you would be doing it with an HT, but you can do that. Hit a button, it'll send out your CQ. Um, you can, um, it has a voice guide as well been built into the radio, which is, this is a great feature, especially for those that are visually impaired. There are a multitude of options that this will speak out. Uh, you, you'll have your memory channel, your frequency that you're on, a incoming message that comes in, um, just several features. That this has that you that will talk or that will speak out uh, what it is on the radio that you that your radio is doing, uh, which again, like I said, it, it does great for the visually impaired. It does have a built-in weather alert, and you are able to remotely control other multi-band Kenwood radios with this radio. I believe Kenwood calls this Sky Command. I mean, they've had that for years. Uh, this radio that you see back here has that built into it. Uh, my HT has that built into it, and it's a uh, D7A, I believe is what it is, or 79A, or something like that. But it's an old radio. You know, all my radios I've had for 15, 20 years. Um, so the only thing that I didn't mention about this radio uh, that makes this radio extremely unique is that this radio is the only radio, and let me rephrase that or say that again, it is the only radio that has D-Star capability that is not a ICOM radio. So if you're not a big fan of the ICOM but you want to use the D-Star function, this is the radio for you. Make sure you get it. It comes with, the, with a very nice, large, full color uh, TFT screen, which is great for either nighttime or daytime use um, with a multitude of functions built into the menu. It is not a touch screen, however it is. it does have icons on the screen. Um, if I'm wrong about that, please correct me. I couldn't find any information really about the uh, screen itself when I was looking for information on this radio. Um, but from what I can understand from going through the manual, it's up down buttons on the radio and then it has two soft keys that you can select. But I don't believe that it is, it is touch screen. But again, if anybody has this radio and is watching this video, please leave a comment below and let me know. Um, that is pretty much it, y'all. Like I said, this radio does have the, the, the D-Star capabilities. It does do the uh, DR fast mode uh, to send pictures and stuff over the air. And it does have the uh, split, the voice data mode, and all of the features that are built in to a standard D-Star radio. For the price, I think this radio is definitely worth it. You get your D-Star uh, radio, you have a built-in APRS, which can be used on analog uh, radio or on D-Star. It has the voice functionality of it, it has the uh, remote control option of it, and of course it's a tri-bander. So, this radio is a very awesome radio and I highly would recommend it. I love it. A friend of mine has this radio and I was able to, to look at it. Uh, I wasn't able to get it for this video, but I love this radio. That is definitely going to be my next radio uh, if I don't get a System Fusion one. But anyways, y'all, uh, thank y'all very much for tuning in. Uh, next week we're going to be talking about the Kenwood 
TM710G. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss that video. Also starting this next week, we're going to be starting our youth month um, and I'm going to be having uh, this coming next Tuesday, uh, I'm going to be having a video that I did with my local uh, youth net and the people that run it and the person that started it. So make sure you tune into that and until next time y'all, I hope y'all have a great day and 73s.